Hi guys, and today we're going to take a look at this 2.4 GHz wireless vibration gaming headset by HUHD. This is model HW933MI. This is about £45-ish, £40 on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. So this can be used with Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, PC, Mac and TV. It's compatible with the Xbox One if you have Connect or the Microsoft adapter. So it's got 2.4 GHz wireless technology. It's also got advanced noise reduction, rich detailed HD audio, and, and it's multi-system compatible. So you've got a picture of the headset on the front. On the side, it tells you what it's compatible with. As I said before, the different consoles and PC. Then it's got a description of the headset on the back. And then it's got a few specs, not sure if you can see them, but they're good specs, the, the standard specs for a headset at this price point. Okay, so let's open it up with this flap. Take everything out. Let's take it out of this protective plastic case first so there we go this is the headset and the wireless transmitter put the box aside ok so here is the headset here is the transmitter we'll put that aside for a minute We'll take a look at the contents, so you've got this bag here, open it up, see what's inside. So you've got the manual here, for this headset, shows you how to set it, this um, headset up for the different platforms like PS4. Xbox 360 and I guess it shows you how to set up the headset with PC too so that's cool I'll show you how to set it up later anyway so don't need to worry about that then also th this is something that's really nice to include I think I'll show it you now this is a Common issues and solutions pamphlet. So this is really good in case you get stuck or if something's not working. It's got a whole list of common issues and solutions here. So that's really nice that they're going to help you out. Even though you've given them money for the product, but they care about your after sales service. They give you this. So it's got the Xbox One issues and solutions, the PS4, PS3. Xbox 360 and PC so I thought that was very good of them to include that I was impressed okay so we'll put that aside then we've got a bag here this is the detachable microphone it's a metal material and the 3.5 where it connects in I'll show you after and this is plastic this end it feels great quality in this metal bends and it's really flexible and doesn't feel like it's going to break or snap so that's that's great quality there this is relatively thin but it's okay it's a very short 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter aux cable and this is a longer this is slightly thicker but and it's longer 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter cable so that connects in to the headset and the Xbox 360 controller or PS3 I guess it's got a USB cable for charging the headset and a micro USB cable for powering this box I'll show you right here so the box 
you power it by plugging it into there and that goes into the computer but I show you how to set it up after so that's nice and also included is an opt optical cable I won't take that out but standard optical cable and it's great that they include all those things so here's the headset and the box um, so I'll, I'll go over a few of the controls on the headset first so that's the power on and if you power it on it flashes blue obviously it's got the micro USB charging then it's got the vibration I'll explain the vibration right now so don't forget the vibration adds some depth and punch into the base it doesn't physically make the headset vibrate but if you want a tighter punchier base not necessarily tighter but a punchier more solid base and you're going to want to turn the vibration up to full it does make the base slightly muddy however it's not perfect base but it is subwoofer base let's say so if you, especially if you want um, more bass when grenades go off it, or shooting this is really nice to include so bear in mind that it doesn't physically shake the headset and then on this side you've got the volume for the chat then you've got the pairing and the volume for the game got the 3.5 millimeter cable to you put the 3.5 millimeter into here and then the 2.5 into the controller and that's the microphone uh, port and you simply plug it in and you're good to go like that so as you can see it's totally black but it looks really nice it looks pretty professional because this is meant to be a professional gaming headset uh, so it's pretty neutral just totally black so overall the design is very very nice the build quality and construction is very solid although it's plastic everything just feels it's quite a big headset so it's not going to feel cheap it's um, very robust and very bulky this system here is very smooth. This feels like metal inside the headband, I'm not sure, but it can stretch out very far as you can see. So that's really nice. And the cups are very well made. As you can see, they fold up like that and the folding mechanism feels really solid they're not just going to come out of place easily they also go like that and ever and all the twists and turns they they feel really solid so no complaints about the big quality whatsoever let's move on to the comfort for a minute so the comfort they've got these really really soft leather ear pads these are synthetic leather i believe and these are just so so soft. Um, it's really nice. You're not. It's not going to make your ears go really warm, um, and you're going to be able to wear this headset for headset for hours on end. Um, your ears may not fully really fit in this headset or on this headset, but if they fit inside the cup, then you've got this nice padding here, so it won't be uncomfortable for you. You've got nice padding on the top. Uh, yeah, there is a solid sort of metal plastic bar or insert in there, but then you've got this padding underneath this uh, different synthetic leather material there. feels like memory foam or something, and it's really, really soft. So comfort, absolutely great. I could wear these for hours on end without any trouble. So now let's talk about mic quality. Plug the mic in. So mic quality on the set there. Very, very clear. It, it's not the best for uh, YouTube if you're gonna record YouTube videos, but it's not really a microphone for recording YouTube videos. It's more for using with your gaming console or your PC and you'll be able to um, speak um get get what you want to say across to the other person very well. 
no issues there really. Um, I asked my friend if they could hear my voice clearly and they said they could, so that was very good. So no troubles with the mic. Um, connecting it up to this wireless box uh, was very, very easy. Um, just plug it into the computer and no breakup with the wireless there, so no troubles there. Oh, uh, by the way, the setup after this video will be for PC. So if you're going to use it with the Xbox One, I'm sorry, but I'm doing the setup for PC. So I'll show, I'll show you this box. It's got port there. Op, that's an optical in, and then it's got the USB. And this goes solid blue when it's paired with the uh, headset. It's a nice box. It's a well-made black box. Um, very, very nice. So let's talk about the sound quality on this headset. It's very punchy and very full body. The bass is slightly muddy. It could do with more detail. However, if you just want massive explosions in the game, you're going to get a ton of bass here. As I said, you can add um, the subwoofer vibration effects and you're going to get a very, very deep, solid and punchy bass. So it's not airy bass. It's not hollow bass. It's if you want like rubber mallets pounding the edge of skull, then these are amazing. <laughs> um, the bass is brilliant. The mids are very, very clear and crisp. Um, they're not the best mids I've heard, but they're, they're rather natural um, for music and for gaming. Uh, vocals in the game, like when I'm listening to a computer character in the game, that was very clear. I there were no troubles um, with me trying to hear the character, and the music vocals were very clean and crisp. Treble with this headset, um, gunfire um, kind of lacked treble. The treble slightly rolled off. However, um, I think for music it was very good because it was it, it's very clean and clear treble. Uh, so the sound quality overall is very good on this headset no trouble this isn't a music headset so I'm not going to mark this headset down for um, music I'm going to give it five stars out of five stars on my Amazon review purely because it's for gaming and gaming headsets don't tend to be great for music but this headset is very great for gaming so overall I'm very very pleased with this headset great build quality it looks great comfort is amazing could wear these for hours on end. Oh, one thing though, the cups only swivel that way, so you, you might not get a perfect seal, but it's okay. Um, oh yeah, uh, they're good for traveling because they go like that, but the comfort's great, the design's great, the build's great, the sound is rather good, and the mic quality is very, very good for the price. So please um, see my next part of the video if you want to see how to set it up with the computer. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is the setup video for the HUHD headset. So you get this wireless box, get the micro USB cable which is included in the package, and simply plug it into the USB slot on the wireless box. Put the wireless box down wherever you desire it to be, and then plug it into the USB on the computer, like so. Then you'll see the wireless box flashing. Now it's trying to pair with the headset. So, what you do, you click the switch on the headset on, then it'll go solid blue and straight away you'll see it will pair with the headset and then drivers will start downloading on your computer you'll see a green uh, driver thing spinning around on your computer and it's really that simple so I'll recap now get your wireless box, plug the micro USB in to the box then plug it into your computer or so then plug it into the um, not plug it in, turn the headset on and then it will automatically pair with the headset. So if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.